right, we're here with freshman Jack Heady here. And uh, so tell me what it's like scoring your first goal. Uh, it was a great feeling. Um, you know, I got a great feed from my line mate Carl, and uh, to see it go in was a was really a big relief and a great feeling. All in all, you're a freshman. Now, what's it been like playing for the team? Uh, it's been a big step for me, but uh, I feel like I'm fitting in well here, and uh, obviously tonight was a big step forward for me. And last question, what's it like playing under Coach Smith? What does he want to see from you? Uh, he just he, he really likes my game, uh, which is nice uh, you know, to have that kind of support from your coach, and uh, he just encourages me to keep it simple and uh, use my size and my body, and uh, I feel like I've been getting better every day. All right, we're here with senior Kyle Gibbons here. Kyle, takes through two goals. Uh, well, the first one on the power play, um, you know, Cody and... Ralph and uh, Danford over there working like Bob the Builder over there, you know, working hard and uh, you know I think I think it was Ralph or Cody. I don't remember which one, but um, you know we had prepared for backdoor plays in practice and in film. We knew if we could get it backdoor, we could have some some good opportunities. So um, you know he made a great pass and uh, you know I knew I had to get it upstairs and you know just ripped it home. Um, second goal, uh, same play again. I mean you know Cody makes a really simple play, just chipping it off the boards and. Good support by Ralph, and um, you know I got to thank Ralph for you know turning down a you know a pretty good shot to to pass it up to me, and you know I saw a little opening, and then you know finished it off with a chariot's a fire celebration for the boys there, which was nice. So uh, it's pretty happy to get the win and the goals, but uh, you know I'm more happy for the win, but it's all special to me. You're wearing the yellow helmet, obviously well deserved, 100th career point. So how does that feel? Uh, it's pretty good. It feels pretty good. Um, I mean, it's something, obviously, you know, to see your name in the books up there pretty high. Is, uh, it's special, but, you know, still a long way to go. Uh, still a long season. Um, you know, we got a long way to go to, you know, get to Rochester in the tournament. So we'll keep working, and I'll keep working, and uh, hopefully I can add to that total. How nice is it to finally get a win against a conference team? Um, it's good. We need that. I mean, we obviously lost our first two against Air Force and Niagara, which, you know, you can't lose games early. It's kind of, you know, points you can never get back. But to get a uh, win against Mercy uh, last weekend or two weeks ago and then, uh, you know, again tonight is, is big. You know, we need those points for the standings. And, um, you know, to be able to steal two from them, you know, kind of keeps them toward the bottom. So um, the more we can move up, the better. We're here with Coach Smith after the Griff's 5-2 win over RIT. Coach, you guys fell to a 2-0 deficit, and then you were able to bounce back pretty quickly. What was the mentality like, and how were you able to bounce back? You know, the uh, it was neat on the bench. There wasn't really a lot of uh, panic. There was a nice, healthy fear that, holy cow, we're down to RIT, and, um, you know, what could happen from there. But then I thought our seniors really just stayed calm and stayed focused and, and energized. And, you know, you win a face-off and you get a goal by Matt Backhouse, and then it's followed up by a really wonderful play by Kyle Gibbons to Danford. And now you got a new game and you got some energy, and, and uh, you know, we had to work hard from that point on. But uh, I thought the seniors really helped us get it back in it. After the first two goals, you guys didn't let another goal in. How is the defense able to tighten up? Well, it, you know, it's not just the defense, but it's, uh, it's playing in their end. And we didn't necessarily do that in the second. We created a lot of trouble for ourselves with three consecutive penalties. But... I really felt that Capo, again, another senior, stood tall and, and, and made some big saves. We killed a four on three, a five on three. And uh, with every successful kill, it felt like, man, this is our night. We're, we're getting it done here. And, and again, that's, that comes from leadership guys that have been there and done that before. After the low scoring weekend at Ohio State, you guys were able to score five today. What did you like from the offense? Well, we, we threw up 17 shots in the third period. We, I thought we funneled more pucks to the net. We, we focused on it, uh, just getting more bodies there, some screens, and um, it's just simple stuff. I mean, the highlight goals are few and far between. When they happen, it's, 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 it's spectacular, but we need to get some of those nitty-gritty, dirty goals, and um, I thought we got some of those, you know, just throwing pucks to the net with screens, and that's the difference. I mean, last weekend I thought we played well, but uh, Ohio State, you know, just blocked, you know, I think 50 shots and um, we just, just got to keep working on it and keep getting pucks to the net. You know what, the third period was really good. We, were, we took a little pressure off the guys and said, hey, let, this is the vision and the way we can play. Um, let's keep it simple. Let's get it out of our end. Let's get into their end, and let's just trust our system and trust each other, and, and they did that. And, and, uh, and again, 17 shots is, is a great stat.